Hello everyone, I'm here again to show you the latest addition to my collection of 40k models. It's the newly released Canoptic Spider as this model impressed me most from the Necron second wave. A painting of this piece was, if I had to say it by one word, it would be disaster. Not because of the model itself, but the day before Poston delivered me the package with this spider, the light bulb in my table lamp crackled. Well, that was no big deal, I replaced it with one I found in my storage boxes, but it was much stronger at first. I was impressed how much light, light I have on my desk now, but it was emitting extreme heat. I was sweating during the whole painting and what's worse, when I was trying to speed up drying process of the wash by just holding the model near the bulb and after a few seconds I noticed there is black smoke coming from his carpet part, damaging the coat, ruining the effect I achieved by about 8 layers of wash. So I had to do whole work again but as I had too many layers of point, paint on his carpet, I uh, had to simplify it to about 3 layers and here's the messy result I got. And I realized because of this there is too much heat on the table and found out that was the reason of many distractions during the painting as I had to complete this assembly and clean my airbrush about four times during painting as the paint was drying really really fast even inside of it, clogging it and creating uneven surfaces but enough of excuses, let's, let's tell you a bit about the whole painting process I chose a really simple approach same as with Necron Warriors I was showcasing about a week ago as I wanted a classic color scheme with few little adjustments to fit my personal taste. After priming, model received coat of modeler steel and then I started airbrushing volume washes. First layer was just dusting sepia wash around to create illusion of dusty metal but I went careful not to add too much. Then I added several coats of black wash to all the black parts to re-highlight them again with sepia wash it's visible here and I chose this approach because the washes spraying over that big surfaces are creating really really matte surface it's much more interesting by just than just spraying these parts with the black paint the disadvantage of this is the surface created by this way is very fragile so you have to be very careful but you can do paint chipping really really easy you can just slide the nail around the edge it will create realistic paint chipping showing the color underneath and then when finished you just have to seal everything with mud varnish and that's it that's the result I hope you like it I know it's not going to win any painting competition but I think it's a nice gaming piece and hope you like it same as I am so please let me know in the comments what do you think about it and Thanks for watching. See you.